first one don't fit on my phone. And before anyone says I'm a typical millennial, always using devices, you should probably know I'm Generation Z. <laughs> So I'm here to speak to you from a different point of view than most of the speakers. Uh, because as you can probably tell, I'm not a scientist. In fact, I haven't gone to university, I haven't even finished school. But what I am is someone who cares. And I'm also someone, you know, I'm just a normal person. And like most normal people, I care about people in my life. I care about my parents, I care about my younger sister, I care about my friends. But one of the things we have to be able to do is look beyond our own circles and see what else is out there. And one of the things that young people today are having to do is look beyond ourselves to see how awful climate change is. In fact, that's not even called climate change, that's called what it is, climate breakdown. We're facing an extinction level event, and it's time to act like it. So I am here as a representative for UKCN, which is the UK Extreme Climate Network. So a lot of the strikes in the UK are being run by local UKCN groups. Now a lot of people have been against new strikes. They've said that we're just trying to miss school, that we don't know what we're talking about, that we need to get a good education. But the government only started listening to us when we started breaking the rules. We can't vote. We can't advocate for ourselves in the same way that adults can. And we got fed up. Greta Thunberg has been an inspiration to many of us because she said enough. She decided to stand up for herself and for all of us. We might not be able to vote, but that doesn't mean that we can't affect politics. The government only started listening to us when we started breaking the rules. That's the facts of the matter. People pay far more attention to climate change now than I have ever seen before. I keep seeing stories about climate change in major newspapers. The roles that groups like School Strike for Climate and Extinction Rebellion, the role that they've had cannot be understated. People are now starting to listen. And as young people and as activists, we try not to blame any one person because we are all stuck in a system that forces us to constantly make bad choices. But I'll be honest, it is so hard not to be resentful and angry all the time. I've seen that the world has been screwed up. Young people are essentially outside of the system in some way. We watch the adults of the world argue over Brexit. We watch them argue over who's got a bigger gun. And we're just here, watching, practically screaming, please do something. So we said enough. And now every month we all strike. But schools haven't exactly been helpful when it comes to striking. A lot of adults haven't been helpful when it comes to striking. Schools are now making it where you have to get parental consent in order to be able to strike. And in fact, many schools are just outright banning people from going. So I'm going to give myself some shameless self-promotion and I'm going to talk about the general strike for climate that's happening in September. So underneath the table, I actually have a big box of flyers. Now we're asking people to either pass them on or recycle them once they've read them because we want to make sure it stays sustainable. I'm asking for your help, all of you. Yeah, hi. We can't do this alone. And we're terrified. We're terrified that we're not going to be able to make a difference. We're terrified that all of this will be for nothing. So I'm begging you, please make sure it's not for nothing.
I'm sorry, I'm finding it quite hard not to get emotional over this. Because people have told me not to take this person personally, but how can I not take it personally? My life is on the line, the lives of people I care about are on the line. And as I've said, I'm not a scientist, but there are so many scientists who need to be listened to. Young people have been raising the alarm. We've been setting up the alarm bells. We've been saying, please act. And there are so many people who can tell you what we need to do. We can tell the governments of the world what we need to do, so they need to be listened to. So UKSCM has four main demands. Decarbonisation of the economy, telling the truth to the general public, and then there's two that really apply to young people the most. One is teach the future. So if you are lucky enough to take geography, GCSE or A-level, then you will learn a small, a small amount about climate change. Everyone else? It's not in the curriculum. So that's why we think it's so important that people, that young people, are taught the dangers of climate change, the dangers of climate, climate breakdown and what we need to do to stop it. And our fourth our fourth demand for the government is to empower the future by lowering the voting age to 16. Personally, I feel lower than good. I turn 18 in December, and as many of you will be able to tell, I'm quite engaged in politics. <coughs> Screaming on the sideline, it's not enough. We need to be able to advocate for ourselves. But at the moment, we can't advocate for ourselves. So we need your help. And I'd just like to thank all of the people who have come here today, including the scientists, because you're telling people the truth. So I think I'd like to end it there. I don't really think there's much more I can say on the matter. We need your help. That's it. So please help us.